Pakistan lifts ban on radical Islamist party. On Monday, November 8th, Pakistan announced that it had lifted the ban on the blasphemy obsessed radical Islamist party Tariq e Lebek Pakistan, or TLP for short, as we will be referring to it, after two weeks of violent protests that left at least six police officers and four demonstrators dead. The move to lift the ban came after negotiations between the civil government and the Islamist group, with the latter agreeing to halt the mass mobilization on the nation's capital that demanded the expulsion of the French diplomatic mission and the release of the group's leader, Saad Hussein Rizvi. Central to this conflict is the belief that France's defense of blasphemy as protected free speech is an insult to the Prophet Muhammad. The overturning of the ban on the group uh, that was implemented roughly a year ago allows the TLP to once again run in elections as a legitimate political party. So on Monday, I woke up and I saw this news. I sent it to Armin just with a big, fuck! Okay. I mean, I, I don't blame him, though. Like, a lot of people think, like, he's bending the knee to the TLP, but does he really have a choice? Like, guys, the TLP, they just, they they taken over Pakistan. So for people who don't know, the, uh, Pakistan's, um, you know, government and all the f forces that exist in Pakistan, you could divide them up in three categories. They are... Uh, the civilian government, which is Imran Khan, um, the army, which includes the ISI, which is the intelligence agency in Pakistan, um, and the the mo these 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 the mob, the Islamist mob, okay, which is the TLP, okay, and the Tahrik uh, Lebek Party, um, group. Tariq Lebek Pakistan. That's what TLP means, right? Basically, very 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 aggressive militant well mob well, i mean they don't have guns so maybe i shouldn't say militant but they're very dangerous very aggressive like these are and they are the numbers the numbers like it's as they they're astronomical like it's it's so crazy how much support they have and what they're willing to do for their belief okay this these are not your typical islamist you know this is not your muslim brotherhood version of islamist okay this is like this these are if you don't accept muhammad as the last prophet you need to end okay i'm using quoted word because maybe you two thinks i'm saying that like this is the people like if 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 i think you're insulting muhammad you need to like you know just fill in the gap right these people have no chill okay and they are dominating they are taking over pakistan and they're extremely scary okay they're not as so if you want to look at the power the level of control and power these different groups have okay the ones that have to need should should be having the most power which is a civilian government has is basically the the least powerful among the three okay is imran khan the most powerful is the army okay however the problem is that the army is using the tlp or and these islamists as a way to intimidate the civilian government to get their way like they use it like they have them on a leash and they let them they just let them wild on the civilian government and the civilian government has no not enough resources to to challenge them the, the only the only group that has the resources to challenge the tlp these islamists is the army but the army lets them loose on on the people they want to let them loose of like again we had an interview on a secular jihadist and with with somebody that knew a lot more about this information and he's like the army is extremely powerful like other people other groups that want to like when they come and have any activities like the tlp does the army just makes them disappear like they can they just they, they just eliminate them they know how to do it they're very efficient at it. again uh, the isi pakistan's intelligence agency it's the world's largest intelligence agency and they have been very active effective at like doing the things that they want to do like they don't they don't get caught they are very very effective and they, they I mean, these are the same people that are responsible for hiding bin laden for such a long time right uh so you know who you're dealing with right and they're also responsible for terrorist activities in in, in india okay um this is a very scary group like the That's army just itself the tip is of the like iceberg yeah, that's just the, the army itself. Designated like, as a state sponsor of terror. 
period. They, they are, probably they, would be if they weren't a nuclear state because they are exactly. a huge state sponsor of terror. Yes, guys, I'm getting too juicy. Reason, yeah, no, guys, the reason why the, the Pakistan's army is not considered a state sponsor of terror is because they have nukes. That's the only reason because they have they have actively funded and take took taken part in in against United States interests everywhere. Okay. They have they are these are the people who fund the Taliban, okay? Actively support and fund the Taliban, and which is with which United States was fighting for 20 years, and United States still considers them an ally and still gives them um military aid, okay? United States still gives Pakistan military aid, even though Pakistan is like, we're funding and <laughs> aiding your enemies, but and we're still getting aid from you. And, and again, you might think like United States is crazy for doing that. But I don't know if they're that crazy because, because they have nukes. And if the army, if if Pakistan ever turns into a failed state, what's the next in line? It's the TLP. It's the TLP. You don't want the TLP to have nukes. Okay. So as much as ridiculous as it seems for United States to be giving military aid to an army which funds United States enemies, funds and trains United States enemies. It makes sense if you note if you realize what will happen if Pakistan turns into a failed state. Anyways, the TLP is extremely getting more and more aggressive. They're getting they're making more and more demands from the civilian government to make changes, to make things more Islamic, to go after to, to be more oppressive to uh, religious minorities, to become more like guys. Pakistan is going down a path. That is so scary. That is so scary. Like I can't imagine being an Ahmadi and living in Pakistan. And very soon, like it's getting, it's going to get worse for Shias in Pakistan as well. Like these, the TLP is not a group of people that if you give them something, they're going to go home and they're like, okay, things are Islamic enough for me now. I'm satisfied now. Let's pack up and go home. No, that is not in their nature. These people are going to demand more and more, and they're proud of making the most ridiculous demands that they know that the civilian government is not will, even able to give them. They were asking for Pakistan, for Imran Khan to cut ties with France, with France to shut the embassy of France. Like, imagine if Pakistan shut their relationship with France, like not having, not even having an embassy with France. Like, they know they can't do that. Okay, but they they were marching on the capital, and they couldn't. The police was like in hiding from these people. Like the police is afraid of these people. The police again, we have the police is for the civilian government. The army is not afraid of the TLP. They could crush the TLP, but the police has nothing against the TLP. Like they were digging the road, they were making trenches to stop the march that these people imagine January 6th in the United in the United States. Okay. Imagine that times a million okay imagine if they had to like if they were coming at the capital with the intentions of like eliminating everybody imagine if the police was digging the roads building trenches to stop the march on the capital like guys people that no are, we cannot stress this enough literally digging up the highway digging trenches in the highway so that masses cannot mobilize on the capital it is. It's January sixth on steroids. Like, yeah, it's it's not even comparable. It's not even comparable. And these people are proud of wanting blood. Like they're proud of wanting blood. Like it's crazy. And imagine that being like January sixth was just one thing, one day. Okay. Imagine this being a constant threat, a constant threat. Okay. So again, that's why I don't blame Imran Khan. Okay, when he's like. And when he bends the knee, when he's like, oh, we're going to have a Muhammad celebration day. Oh, we're going to put like Muhammad is the Khatam al Anbiya everywhere, everywhere. Oh, no we're going to have make... the finality of the prophet like I do. <laughs> like I do. We're going to have Quran classes in mandatory in every school, like this and that. When he's like, oh, I'm going to remove the ban from the, from the TLP. Like, what do you think he can do? Okay. If I like, I, I if I was him, I would be thinking like, would 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 I be keeping my head next year? Would I would I have my head on my shoulders next year? Like this is what I would be thinking. Again, I don't think things are going to be escalating to that extent. Again, if it gets to that point, I think the army would get involved. Um, but I mean, I mean, the head of the TLP probably got removed by the army. 
like i think that i don't know if that's true or not what, but do, you, we'll, we'll what do you mean remove oh you mean the original founder no armin that's conspiracy we don't we can't say that okay we do, okay okay we don't know okay but they we don't are know capable. why he died we don't know why he died okay okay never mind take that back so but uh, th those conspiracies are out there so um but yeah maybe i don't know we don't have any evidence for that. well anyways yeah go on if you guys want to learn more about this you guys should check out the most recent secular jihadist episode so on youtube or any podcast listening app google secular jihadists from muslim enlightenment and you will find the episode titled pakistan's new or newest capitulation which is about this capitulation to the tlp and armin and ali rizvi talk to sean tasir and sean is actually the son of salman tasir who was the governor of punjab um, the most populous state in pakistan who was assassinated because he was advocating for mercy for a Christian woman who was sentenced to death for alleged blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad. And for that, he was assassinated by his own bodyguard. And then uh, later down the line, Sean himself had to flee Pakistan because of the, I think there was even a fatwa against himself. Um, mm. And Sean is an awesome guy, so informative, very eloquent. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend listening to the episode Pakistan's new capitulation because I learned a lot. Um, so, and yeah, guys, is like, saying, I love secular jihadists. Yeah, guys, check out secular jihadists YouTube channel. If you, if you're interested in more geopolitical stuff around the middle East, that's the main focus of that channel is that, right. And we have interesting guests and we covered that. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to secular jihadists. Oh, thank you. Music and music is saying subscribe to secular jihadists y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Check that out. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.